Hi, my YouTube friends, and welcome to my channel. Today's DIY is a flower market sign. I found this cute little sign at Dollar General for a dollar, and I thought, oh, I had a great idea of a cute little sign I could make to hang up in my dining room. I'm going to be using a basket, a wire basket from the Dollar Tree, as well as this round um, foam floral from the Dollar Tree. I am also going to be using a 12 inch wooden dowel that you can pick up in a package from Walmart. These two cute little beads that I already had on hand. Some chain that I already had on hand that I cut down to um, four and a half inches long. And then also these little rings that I made out of some 18 gauge wire. I just formed a circle and see it has a little opening on the inside of the rings. I'm gonna be using some black chalk paint, my hot glue gun, and I didn't show you here, but I am gonna use some double-sided tape as well. And then also a half of a kitchen towel. You could use you know, any kind of cloth that you wanna use. I just had this really um, nice bright white towel on hand, so I just cut that in half, and I'm gonna be using that as well. And then also two cup hooks, which you can purchase in a package from Walmart. So for my frame, I cut down two pieces of one by three. For the braces, those are 14 and three quarter inches long. And then I cut down six of the one by three. Those are 28 inches long. This is some scrap wood that I had on hand. As you can see, some of it is bowed. I'm also going to be using my orbital sander and my safety glasses. So I begin by sanding the ends, the sides, and the edges of all the boards just to give it that nice smooth finish. Once that is all complete, I'm going to lay it down next to my square, making sure all of the back pieces are flush. And then I'm going to measure how far I want my braces to go down at the top and the bottom. And I chose to go two inches off of the bottom of the frame for both of the braces. So I just measure those outside pieces and make my mark on the two outside pieces for both ends so that my braces will be evenly spaced. Then I pre-drilled each of the holes so that I could screw each board down to the brace. And I do that on both ends. Now you don't have to use wood. You could certainly use a sign from Dollar Tree and some painter's sticks and create the same back, um, the, the same back frame if you wanted to do the project with all Dollar Tree products. I also am using some interior satin white paint and I'm giving it a nice good coat on all of the sides, the edges, and in all the little crevices. Um, and it, it only takes one coat of paint and that covers it very well. So once I let that completely dry, I now take my dowel and measure where exactly I want my cup hooks to go. So I'm just going to measure off of the end brace at the top. And then I'm also going to measure it from the side and the top to make sure that each of the cup hooks are in the same location so it will the little dowel will hang evenly and then i'm also going to mark where i want my screws to go so that i can hang my basket on there so i just take my pen and figure out which little holes i want my screws for my little basket to hook on and i wanted it flush with that bottom brace so I just pre-drill my holes for my cup hooks and for those screws. And then I'm gonna put the screws in, but I'm not gonna push them all the way down because I wanna be able to hang my little basket on there. And then once I get my basket on there, I can then take my screwdriver and secure it tighter. When I hang the basket on there, I realized that the bottom piece really just kind of um, drooped down more than I wanted it to. So I took a Jenga block and I painted it white and then I'm just going to place it on that brace there so that when I put the basket on there, it doesn't droop down as far. It sits a little more flush like I want it to. And I secure that down with some wood glue. Now I took some sawtooth hangers off of an old picture that I don't use anymore. And I secure those to the back at the top of the frame. 
And now I'm going to begin painting my dowel. First, I take my beads and I put a generous amount of hot glue on each end and secure my beads. You could use the wooden beads. I don't have any, but I really like the way those are turning out. And then I paint my cup hooks and all the rings with the black chalk paint because I wanted to have a nice cohesive same color and look very well together. So once um, I get all of those painted, I'm also gonna paint the beads and the entire dowel black. And I just think this turned out so cute. It looks like a little curtain rod. Of course, like I said, you could use the wooden beads or any beads that, that you wanted to use. Then I remove the little top hanging piece and I'm gonna paint the back of the sign with the same chalk paint because I knew the little sign was gonna be hanging and I didn't want anyone to be able to see the cardboard on the back. And then I just take my black Sharpie and go around the edge to cover up the cardboard on the sides as well. And this is just turning out so cute. So then I take my um, rings and I put the chain on one end and then I'm gonna hook that ring into the sign and you're also gonna wanna put another ring on the other end of the same chain so that you can hook that on your dowel and you do that for both sides so you'll have the rings on both ends of the chain on both sides. Then I took my basket and I wanted the prettier side of the towel to be seen from the inside of the basket so I'm just going to take that little hemmed edge and I'm going to clip that down around the basket and I'm going to do that all the way around the around the basket until I get the towel exactly where I want it positioned and then I am going to take my double-sided tape and put that under the little hem and secure it around the rim all the way around except for a smaller portion in the back I do not use the tape on because I want to be able to tighten the screw up once I hang that basket on the sign so it just put it on the back side and then just leave a little opening so you'll be able to tighten those screws down I cut the foam floral down so that it will fit in the basket um, without pushing the little wires out. And I'm gonna decorate it with these pretty little pink carnations, some boxwoods, and some baby's breath. I got the carnations and the baby's breath from the Dollar Tree. And I am gonna cut the little stems off and then push those down into the styrofoam and then place the styrofoam in the basket. And I think this turned out so cute. You could change the flowers out for any season. So the white frame and the black just look so good together. You could decorate it with fall flowers or Christmas decor. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching. Please take care and I will see you next time.